vlog it's maggie obviously <laughs> i'm about to get ready i have a podcast in a little bit we're interviewing some guests today that i'm very excited about i'm gonna try these new westman atelier drops liquid super loaded that's what it says on the bottom this is the shade name i don't know how to pronounce it to try these oh they're like bronzing drops i've never used them before so hopefully this isn't too much. Hopefully, oh, and hopefully they don't make my skin break out. I'm just gonna rub them in with my hands to add a little bit of bronze to my face. Definitely should have washed my hands before I did this. I don't know if I'm supposed to be putting something over or if I can just wear these, but I'm just gonna wear the drops and do nothing else because I don't really feel like putting anything like too heavy on my face but I did want to give some color and shine why is my eyebrow gel not opening benefit eyebrow gel just to slick them okay then we're going to do a tiny bit of concealer okay then we have Westman Atelier bronzer I really like these products. They're very easy to blend. I used to have them a few years ago. And I used the blush and the bronzer. And I think I had a concealer and I really liked them a lot. Yeah, I love this cream bronzer. I've been wanting to get a new one for a while. Because the one that I was using before I just found was like a little bit too sheer. The one from Merit. I like Merit products, but... They are very sheer. And the contour stick that I used was just in the shade Truffle. And now this is the blush in the shade Baby Cheeks Blush Stick. That's what it says. I don't know. The color's called Baby Cheeks. Oh my god, I love. I love that shade. We're going to do very light lip liner. Charlotte Tilbury. And then we're going to do road lip treatment in watermelon. I might need to add a little bit of setting powder just to make sure. Okay, perfect. A little light makeup is done. Just got done with the podcast, you guys. <laughs> My look what a haircut. You look so handsome, baby. I love your haircut. It's so weird, his hair goes through phases where he looks like more brown and then sometimes he looks more white and I've seen TikToks lately my look at me bubba I've seen TikToks lately of dogs where they will get like brown around their mouth and it's because of the food that they're eating or something and they're like allergic to it because I've noticed like he's a lot more brown around his mouth than white like he used to be and I don't know if it's the same thing like same as the TikToks that I was seeing but yeah, he had so much brown on him, but then his hair got cut short and he's like a little bit more blonde underneath. But you're like stressed out. <laughs> Guys, he's like stressed, I think, from getting his hair done. Poor little thing. But we just got done recording the podcast. It was such a great episode. We interviewed Ella Potter Mills and her mom, Larissa Mills. Such a good episode. They are the sweetest. I can't wait for you guys to hear the episode and we talked forever so it was really good and I came downstairs to this stunning bouquet of flowers from Josie Moran I use their whipped argan oil all the time it's like the most insane body butter and they sent me a restock so I have so many of them I'm gonna add a few of these to my giveaway because I want you guys to be able to try this product if you haven't already because it's so good and I'm so thankful. So if you guys are watching this, thank you so much for sending me a restock of the body butter and also these gorgeous flowers. I'm like in awe. These are so stunning. I love them and I feel like they look so beautiful on the table and just like really tie in 
this area right now. I feel like with the colors, I feel like the green with the green glasses over there and like the pink for the pink tequila, it just like looks so cute right now. I love it. We were just talking on the podcast. Well, once the podcast got over, we weren't like actually talking about this on the show, but just like, I don't know. I feel like there's so much that goes on behind the scenes when you do social media for a living that you may not even realize. And it's just crazy. Like, I feel like I've just had such a busy week and I'm so excited that tomorrow is almost Friday. But I still have a little bit more work to do today before we end off the work day and then I can just like relax. So we're gonna go upstairs and do that in a few minutes. Got a package. We have some Tata Harper products, which I love. I got a body serum and I really, really love it. So I'm so excited to try more of these products. I have heard such great things about the resurfacing mask. So I'm really excited to try these products out. I love Tata Harper. It's a clean brand and I'm excited to try the cleanser and this is a rejuvenating serum. We have facial cleanser and then this one right here is the water lock moisturizer, hydrating moisturizer. Hello my lovely little angels. I have had quite the day today. I figured I would pick up the vlog. I haven't vlogged in a few days since I started this video <laughs> and I was like, I swear I started a vlog the other day and then I didn't vlog for a few days. I've just been like doing housekeeping stuff and my office, that's what I'm currently working on right now. So I figured I would vlog the rest of today. Graydon's coming over in a little bit and we are gonna cook and have like a little night go downtown so I'm gonna bring you guys along for that so we can get out of my house finally we can like go you know explore because I just really want to do that also I'm like making it a point this fall to like vlog outside my house more because I see your comments and you know I'm just gonna do more things in my vlogs I need to like get out and about but I'm looking right now on this website this website I'm looking online right now at Walmart and I found this white it's like a high gloss cabinet but it's not a cabinet I guess you would it's a storage cabinet but it's drawers instead of it being like pull out and I really like it for my office I'm gonna do some measuring right now and I think I want to get like two of these depending on how big they are or how long they are it says that they are length, width, height. They're 36 inches, which I found some on Ikea and I think they were like 47 and I was like, I wanna do two of them, but I think that that is too big. So 36.2, they're like this long. I wanna put them in my office along this wall right here and then, or I could even do this wall. I would move my desk. It's like an absolute mess in here right now. I just have like clothes everywhere and stuff that I just need organized. And this room is a work in progress. I really wanna hang up these boards that I got, the magnetic boards, and I wanna hang them over the pieces of furniture that I'm gonna order. So I'm gonna do some measuring and see where they would fit either this wall or that wall and then I would just move this desk right here and get those ordered. I'm ordering three of them and I measured. They're gonna fit on the wall that my desk is on right now so I'm gonna have to move my desk which is fine because I knew when I set my office up like this in the first place I knew that I was probably gonna move my desk anyway and I just had it on this wall Kind of like for the time being, like when it got delivered. But they're only $100 right now. And I saved, it says I saved $54. And they're going to ship them to my house. But I'm excited for them to come. Obviously, I'll show you guys once they get here. But I just think that they're going to look so good. Okay, they arrive by Wednesday, September 13th. So two weeks. I'm really excited because I have a lot of stuff in my office like work related stuff that I want to be able to have drawers to put everything 
away and organize it like I just have so many different cameras and I have a lot of like equipment I have my podcast equipment I have a lot of stuff that comes in the mail from brands that I like to keep for giveaways and stuff like that and just like products I don't like to have like too much on hand because I just feel like keeping all the stuff and kind of like hoarding it is like makes me feel very cluttered so I have this whole entire closet that's next to me right here has bags and drawers that are in there right now that's my linen closet and I have just like all the drawers and I have bags full of products for giveaways that I get so many things sent to me that I obviously cannot keep it all and it's just like a waste to open up a product and use it once and I don't know I'm just I am like trying to be better about the products that I use especially when it comes to like makeup and skincare like beauty products and stuff because I feel like I get sent so much stuff for example I'll show you guys right here the brand sends me a product milk makeup sent me this pr box and i'm so excited about it i love their blushes and their cream bronzer and their highlighter but it's like i don't need all of these shades i haven't gone through yet and figured out which one i want but i'm probably going to keep one or two i know that i definitely want to keep this one right here and i'm going to keep a couple others but then i have just like a tons of a ton of shades sticking around that i don't need and I want to be able to like give back to you guys. I do a lot of donating to shelters around Boston, but I also want to do giveaways like for you guys who watch my videos and support me because I wouldn't be getting any of these products or wouldn't even be able to do any of this if it weren't for you guys. So I want you guys to be able to try out all these products as well. So I want to be able to have like drawers in the office so when they come in products come in i can pick what i want and what i'm going to put into the giveaway pile like the rest of the products i can have like neatly put away in drawers so they're not just like all thrown into like a random bag and then stuffed in a closet so we're really cracking down on organization over here and i also got a huge box from Kylie Cosmetics, which I'm very excited about. I'm doing a collaboration with them and I can't wait. So we have a ton of those products and a ton of other things that I'm adding to the giveaway. But what I wanted to say was follow me over on Instagram Maggie McDonald on Instagram and then Maggie.McDonald on TikTok because I usually do my giveaways on Instagram and then I will do a TikTok giveaway too. I want to be able to do like one on each platform and then maybe do like a big YouTube giveaway too. So that's what's up. But I also got these little organizers right here acrylic that we're gonna go bring upstairs and organize some of my skincare with okay so this is what we're working with right now i just kind of have all my products sitting here and i'm gonna use these little bins that i got from amazon to get everything all organized and we're gonna go from there i got two of the stackable so there's like a smaller drawer and then a bigger one and i'm probably gonna do like two on each side or maybe do two together and then see if I have room to order something else but I'll show you guys how it looks after okay wow that looks so much better <laughs> it's crazy what organizers can do to your space I just have everyday products in this one because these are just like my go-to morning and night products so I want one of those right there on the top shelf and then in here I have a bunch of face masks eye creams and other like serums and stuff and then in here i just have sunscreen deodorant and stuff like that and then tampons and then up here i have my body butters and i have a body serum and this is like a micellar water that i use to take my makeup off and then i have self tanner and my favorite hair products on the side i just have two big things of the sebastian shaper plus hairspray and then I have a little Moroccan oil one as well and um, 
I love how this turned out. Hi guys. Hey y'all, I haven't been back. on your vlog in like months. I know, I feel like we haven't hung out because you've been so busy. Because I finally have something to do. But we just got you Newberry. We're gonna go into the Chanel store like really quick. We are cooking dinner tonight, so we have to go to the store, but we're gonna make a few stops before we go home. So we're going into Chanel because I wanna look at a pair of ballet flats. Well, I just wanna see if they have them, so we're just gonna be quick and we're gonna just look and see what yeah. we can find. We're gonna be quick, right? Yep. There's a new Capital One Cafe, and it has <laughs> Verve. It has Verve, which is this really good coffee place in LA. Cava Neo Taverna. Period. Okay, we, well, Graydon's been cooking up a storm since we got back. We have lovely shishito peppers, which have this delicious gooey glaze. Ew. Gooey. Gooey. <laughs> and then we have turkey tips and chicken breast. And we have rice. And then we did, well, not me, I did nothing. Graydon did a cucumber salad, which looks really good with the vinegar, olive oil, salt, pepper, spices. Um, wait, mm. we didn't cook the chicken? Yeah, we did. We have turkey, oh, shishito, we have chicken, chicken and then rice. Howdy. Hey, y'all. We just had dinner. It was so bomb. I'm gonna make in cookies. In ice cream, we have. What brand is that? McConnell's Fine Ice Cream. Why'd you reach for that one? Just because it said local. Oh. Cool. I always buy local shit. California. California. <laughs> <laughs> bitch, it literally said local. No, it didn't. Yes, it did. At Foodies, it said local. It says Lockhead. No, on it it said local. I, and I was like, oh, cool. California's finest. Source this is from fucking local. Madagascar. Fuck. Well, whatever. Was founded Hi. in Santa Barbara, California. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, thank it's you. It's grass-fed milk. Santa Barbara! Mac! Oh my god. That's Santa where Mac Barbara. went to school. Yep, not local. Cool. <laughs> well, we got this. And then, obviously, Levain, which I want to show you guys. Because these are actually, like, some of the craziest cookies. Because they're so big. We went... You guys would have seen earlier. But we got three different kinds. They're currently in the oven. My little Revel oven. But we got a coconut chocolate chip. Are these balls? Coconut, yeah. What is it, coconut chocolate? Coconut caramel chocolate chip. Coconut chocolate chip. caramel chocolate chocolate chip and then double chocolate. And so we got three of, we got two of each. So six of them. Three different flavors. But since 1995. Hmm. Hey, you guys. I'm going to end off this vlog here. I'm about to go for a walk right now. I got my hair cut also. So I also want to show you guys my little haircut. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. <laughs> and subscribe. Also follow me on Instagram, TikTok, all that. All the social medias if you want to keep up with my content and i love you and i will see you in my next vlog bye